All right, in this video, I'm going over the comprehension questions for Major Taylor. Um, first one, reread uh, the first paragraph on page, that should be just page 411. Fix that right now. 411. What facts does the author include? What opinions does the author state? So, of course, you're going to go back to uh, page 411. You're going to reread just that paragraph. And... Um, Decide for yourself what are the facts or what fact and what opinion was given in that paragraph. So again, a fact is something that can be proven. So oftentimes something like with dates included, that can be that those are usually things that can be uh, used for fact. And then for opinions, you're looking for adjectives that describe things oftentimes will show you that will be a big clue that it's an opinion. You know, it'll say it was the greatest or awesome. You know, it's going to be some kind of adjective describing something. And that can obviously be disputed because some people might describe it differently. Number two, do you think the author approves or disapproves of how Marshall Taylor was treated during his bicycle races? Use specific references from the text to support your answer. So there's two parts to this. One, do you think the author approves or disapproves of how he was treated? So you would say, I think the author approves of how Marshall Taylor was treated. Or, I think the author disapproves how Marshall Taylor was treated during his races. That's the first part. And then the second part is you're going to find instances in the book that back up what, what you think. So if you think the author approves of how he was treated, you're going to find examples in the text where the author talks about how he was treated really well in his races and um, where the author is saying, you know, oh, Ma Major Taylor uh, was highly respected by everyone that came to his races. Or if uh, the author disapproves with how Taylor was treated during his races, you're going to go back in the text and find evidence where the author is talking about, you know, how his competitors or how the spectators uh, treated Marshall poorly. And you're going to want to reference that. So on page blank in paragraph blank, um, the author shows that uh, he disapproves of how Marshall was treated when he talks about how the spectators did this or the, his competitors did this. So you're going to want to cite specific evidence. Number three, Marshall Taylor was popular among spectators at races, but other racers used tricks to try to beat him. So here is one example where we can say uh, that the author disapproves because he, it mentions here in this question, in fact, that other racers used tricks to try to beat him. Um, how did Taylor handle his competition? And again, use evidence. So, um, how did Taylor handle the competition? So, how did he handle those competitors that did try to kind of cheat and use different tricks to beat him? How did he handle it? What was his reaction? And again, you're going to want to go back in the text, cite specific pages and paragraphs where you can find evidence of how he reacted when one of his competitors did something to him during a race that could be considered uh, sneaky or tricky or unfair. Uh, number four, why do you think we should remember Marshall Taylor? What can we learn from his achievements? So one, why do you think we should remember him? So I think we should remember him because, and then the second part, what can we learn from his achievements? I think we can learn blank from his achievements and then use some examples from the text to support your answer. So you could say, you know, when he achieved this, we were able, to, we learned this from this achievement because, and, um, you know, cite the specific achievement from the text that you're re referring to. Okay, number five, pretend you are Marshall Taylor. Write a letter to the author of Bike Ride Anyone and that's from uh, page 398 and 399 that we read yesterday. So if you were absent yesterday, you can go back to yesterday's reading assignments and listen to this text again. Um, telling the author how learning to ride a bike changed your life. 
use information from the text to support your answer. So again, you're going back to um, the short story, Bike Ride Anyone, on 398 and 399. You're writing the letter as if you are Marshall Taylor, and you're just explaining to the author how uh, learning to ride a bike changed your life. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next.